For our lead issue this week, there is a looming battle to build a much-needed new and better airport among the country's top tycoons. We are talking about the San Miguel Corporation conglomerate. And on the other side, the venture between Bell Corporation of the C family and the Solar Group. The story with our Biswatch correspondent, Zera Hernandez. There is no doubt that flight traffic has increased over the years, and it is expected to increase even more in the coming years. All Asia Resources and Reclamation Corporation, a joint venture of the sea-owned Bell Corporation and the solar group of the Tiang family and the San Miguel Corporation conglomerate, are now poised to bring their solution to this problem with their own proposals to the Philippine government. All Asia Resources and Reclamation Corporation is proposing to spend 20 billion US dollars to build an airport and seaport near a naval and air base in Sangli Point, which is south of Manila. On the other hand, the San Miguel Group is proposing to build a new airport at a cost of 700 billion pesos or 14 billion US dollars in a 2,500 hectare property in Bulacan, which is north of Manila. The rest of the story with our Biswatch correspondent. At present, we are recording about 60 million air passengers passing through Manila, and our capacity is only at 31 million. The International Air Transport Association foresees that this figure could rise up to 140 million by 2035. So it is very clear that we need new airport facilities. In its proposal, San Miguel Corporation wants to build four runways with a length of 3.5 kilometers and a width of 600 meters. This facility could serve 100 million passengers a year. San Miguel proposes to increase this to six runways, which can serve up to 150 million passengers. Their proposed airport will also link San Miguel's elevated rail project and will complement the airport in the former Clark Military Air Base. This offer also does not carry any guarantee or subsidy from the government as San Miguel will undertake all the costs involved in building the new airport, according to Mr. Ramon Ang, President and CEO of San Miguel Corporation. The present airport has four terminals and currently serves about 40 million air travelers. The All Asia Resources and Reclamation proposal, however, which is 6 billion pesos, higher than that of San Miguel, includes the development of a seaport in addition to a new international airport. This is actually the second offer from San Miguel Corporation for its airport bid. In 2014, San Miguel submitted a 10 billion peso offer to build an airport off Manila Bay. Meanwhile, Mr. Ramon Ang gave an unsolicited option to the Philippine government. The government can sell the 600 hectare property where the Manila airport complex is right now for $20 billion. This could be converted into a new business district in the metropolis, he said. <laughs> 